Hey guys, welcome to this video. Antimath. It says convert the polar equation to Cartesian and identify the conic. So our whole goal here is to express everything in terms of x and y. So we're going to change the r and the theta into an x and a y. So anytime you see it set up like this, your first step is to cross multiply. So it's r times 3 plus sine theta equals and 3 times 1 is 3. So all I did was cross multiply. Now I'm going to distribute the r. So it's going to be 3r plus r sine theta equals 3. Now I can substitute. r sine theta, if you look up here, is y. So I can change that into a y. And then r, if you look right here, is the square root of x squared plus y squared. So we can write this as 3 times the square root of x squared plus y squared plus y equals 3. Now we can subtract y from both sides. We end up with 3 times the square root of x squared plus y squared equals 3 minus y. And then you can square both sides. So I'm going to bring this up here. So the left-hand side becomes 9 and then x squared plus y squared. You just square both of them. Square the 3 to get 9 and then the square root goes away for the other one. Equals, and this can be multiplied out, it's 9 minus 6y plus y squared. What I did was 3 minus y times 3 minus y. I did first, outer, inner, and last. Hope that makes sense. Now distribute the 9 on this side. We have 9x squared plus 9y squared equals, and this is going to be, we can change the order of this, y squared minus 6y plus 9. Now let's set everything equal to 0. Let's subtract y squared, add the 6y, and subtract 9. And same thing on this side, minus y squared, add 6y, and subtract 9. So this stuff all becomes 0 on this side. And on this other side, it's 9x squared plus 8y squared, because 9y squared minus y squared, plus 6y minus 9, and we said equals 0. So that's the answer to the question. We convert it to Cartesian form, and that's a standard Cartesian form. And looking at it, if you know your shortcuts for how to tell what conic section it is, since x squared and y squared are both positive, and since 9 does not equal 8, that means it's an ellipse. And that's the answer to the other question. So we converted it to Cartesian, put it in standard form, and then we identified it as an ellipse. If you're not sure why that's an ellipse, I have a whole study guide of conic sections at andymath.com that you can check out. I hope this all made sense. Please like and subscribe. Check out andymath.com for even more videos and study guides. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.